You guys, welcome back. This is not Pad Thai, but it's similar. Today, I'm bringing you to the northeastern part of Thailand to a town that specializes in this tasty noodle dish called Pad Mi Korat, or Korat stir-fried noodles. The traditional technique is a bit different, and the flavor is spicier. While the particular version is not vegetarian, I'll share some tips along the way on how to easily make it. So, let's get started. We need some smoky and spicy flavors, and I'll start by making toasted chili flakes. It's normal to be coughing here, so be aware. Wear a mask if you need to. It smells so nutty and smoky. It's gonna taste so great. These are garlic chives, and if you can't find this, then scallion will do just fine. Bean sprouts for a nice refreshing crunch. It looks like a lot, but it's going to be so important in this dish to cut through the carbs, and it'll add a nice texture. And for some aromatics. Garlic, shallots into a chunky paste. It doesn't need to be too fine. Garlic and shallots fried in oil sets up any dish to be flavorful and aromatic. Traditionally, this noodle dish uses pork belly or other cuts of fatty pork, but pork can easily be substituted with beef, chicken, eggs, or with firmly pressed tofu or mushrooms to make this vegetarian. Let's make a sauce for these noodles. This sauce is naturally vegetarian. Although more modern recipes use fish sauce, I will not be using fish sauce today. In goes the oil, palm sugar, let's develop a bit of color here.
the garlic and shallots paste. Tamarind concentrate. Fermented soybean paste called tao jiao will be the main element of salt in this dish. Fermented soybean paste. Thai black soy sauce. toasted chili flakes. You want the sauce to be quite flavorful because the water will be added to this soon. Try this sauce here. A bit sweet, spicy, and savory. Now is the time to adjust the flavors to your liking. Everyone has their own preference on taste. Make it your own. and water. Here I'm going to cook the noodles directly into the sauce plus water. We'll need enough water to fully cook these noodles. Depending on the brand of dry noodles you use, the amount of water needed to cook them will vary. I'd start with close to two cups first and add a little bit more each time, a little bit by little bit. The flavors in this sauce will be fully infused and absorbed by the noodles. Adjust your heat to medium-low so that the liquid doesn't evaporate too quickly. At this stage, you'll need to determine if you need to add a bit more water, and if you do, add little by little. If at this point you feel the noodles are still not quite cooked yet, don't panic. There's always a solution. Try turning the heat to the lowest heat setting. Place your lid on and let the residual oil and steam finish cooking and softening up the noodles. Stir occasionally. Eventually, whether through adding a bit more water each time or using a lid to cover the noodles on low to finish softening them up, the noodles will cook all the way through. When your noodles are almost done, add your bean sprouts and garlic chive so they can maintain a bit of texture. Here we have it, pat mi korat. The noodles have softened up and fully absorbed all of the flavor of this sauce. 
It's a nice balance of sweet, tangy, spicy, and savory. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Be safe everyone.